Hi, hello, this is Larry Tutorials, and today I want to be introduce you to the Corel Draw 17 environment. I will be pointing out the different functions of different parts of the Corel Draw environment. As soon as you open the Corel Draw 17 environment, this is what you see. You have the new document, new temp new from template, and open recent. That we list where you have a list of previous documents that were worked on in the environment. Now let's start by clicking on new documents. That is if you are working on a new document, you tap or you click on new documents. When you click on new documents, it brings you to the environment. And before you start working, you will have to set your papers, your paper size and the unit you'll be working with for measurement. So I prefer you, I select, I'll pick the A4 paper and on that unit, I like working with inches then let's zoom back to page this is our page now before I continue I would also like to talk about the names of different parts of the environment before telling us the function this part the topmost part of the current environment is called the title bar where you have the name of the package current draw and the name of the file which is untitled one as soon as you save your file the name changes to the name of the file that you have saved with. Take for instance, if I click on save on the file, I can change the name to a test file and save. As soon as I do that, coming back up here, you can see that the name of the file has changed to test file. So this is the bar that bears the name of the application and the name of the file. Then followed by the menu bar. This bar has different menus and these menus have drop down list. You can see and each of the menu have a drop down list as soon as you click on each menu you have a drop down list now most of what you have on that file are to work on your file activities to be done on the file what you have on that edit are, are, most of the time are activities that has to do with correction or activity that has to do with adding or removing from what you already have in your document then most of what you have on that view are activities or are commands that have to do with the appearance of the environment. Most of what you have on that layout are things that have to do with commands that have to do with your paper. Then objects. Most of what you have here are commands that will help you to work on the object, the diagram or the picture or the image you are designing in this environment. Effect. Most of what you have here also had an effect to your diagram bitmap most of what you have here helps to convert your your diagram to a bitmap and also edit the diagram and also do some other things on it as a bitmap image or object most of what you have on that text are properties or command that helps to format your text and do any other function many other functions on your text most of what you have on that table are commands that help you to work with your table either convert like conversion of text to table from te table to text and so on and so forth most of what you have under tools are commands that you need to work in the environment and most of what you have under windows are commands that are to relate with the window you are working with and most of what you have under help are commands that have to do with uh, the display sorry with um, how to use the environment so i'll be stopping there for concerning the menu bar now the next bar is the standard toolbar most of the icons you have on this bar are most of the icons you have on the on the standard toolbar are commands or buttons or icons that help to they help you to do most of the info most of the carry out most of the operations which you can carry out from file and edit that is what this does then next to it we have the property bar the property bar helps you to it gives the property of your of your environment and as you are drawing the property bar changes and it shows you the property of your image you can see that if i click away from the image the property bar changes now it's showing me the size of the paper the length and the breadth either this is the um, the landscape or portrait that's the paper orientation if i click on this it takes it to the landscape orientation to portrait then here i'm setting the unit and so on but as soon as i draw 
it also picks on the properties of my image so here i can set the length and the breadth of the image i can do rotation here i can set the the edges of my image either rounded or flat or anywhere i want it to be from all this and from here i can set the width of the outline of the object now after that i'm going to pick on this this is the next this this bar is called the toolbox and the toolbox contains all the tools that i'll be using for drawing i'll explain more about this later now under here we have the status bar that also gives some more information about the document then here we have the docker window we have different types of docker window let me show you some of them if i come down to windows here i click on to docker so under docker i have a docker called object properties that's the one that is activated we have object manager object data manager object style object coordinator symbol manager and so on all these are docker windows which you can use to manipulate images so all these are docker window which you can use to manipulate images in your in your environment now here we have the color palette the color palette is a container that con it contains set of colors that can be used or added to your image in this environment so now i want to go i want to explain more or go into further details about the toolbox i'll be in the next video i'll be explaining how we can use the toolbox to work in this environment i'll be picking on the toolbox one after the other and give a very comprehensive details of how they can be used to work in the corridor environment thank you